And welcome back. This is AGEUD's American Civil War. This is Charles. I'm Charles. And Newman. That's Newman. What's up, guys? Um, it's late July, 1863, and the, the uh, Confederacy's dreams are crashing as... No, you've got a, you got a new yeah. dream. The old well, dream. The old dream is gone. Um, well, we'll see if, what the new dream uh, happens. <laughs> <laughs> the new dream is actually just trying to not starve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the battles. Wadi Salad here, playing around with these guys. Go Stan. I wish he would just capture them all. I thought his name was Stan, but it's actually Stand with a D. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Duplin. We, ah. we did have a battle in North Carolina, and um, it's really all the Confederacy could hope for. And with you know, no one was in entrenchments. Um, it happened here in Duplin. So Lee went here. They had gone out of here, and um. We lost. Lee's two divisions didn't engage. I mean, they're there, but they never even fired a volley, um, it seems, because they're completely fresh. And uh, we lost. We had two regiments captured um, and four national morale lost. That's a big It's a big hit. Uh, Jackson's division, led by Dole and uh, D.H. Hill's divisions, were pretty much decimated. Um, and then there you go. You got uh, Lee. It's pretty much... Fresh, fresh. So he just didn't engage. We they were there. Know. They showed up. And he just didn't. I was. Well, you had I to was, sort of like. I, I wanted was, to box him in. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to scream, "Hit him, Lee! Hit him!" And uh, Lee did not. He did, did not yeah, hit him. him. Yeah. You I thought we were gonna win that battle. It was really. You yelled it at him, but you should have punched the button. <laughs> As I'm pretty. Sure. It'd be crazy if the game were like if you get, like the faster you get the space bar, the better yeah, they do the battle. <laughs> that could be a game. That could be a game, like a mini game. Come on, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, Lee and well, Lee lost. Who would have thought? Are these guys okay? Well, whatever. Well, I'll take a look at the, the strategy here. Let's go to Lee again. He's still just destroying people out there in Indian territory. Mm. So no big consequence really. Um, we had we had a cow regiment that was captured by Garrison there. I'm not too happy about that. Big big force though. That and um, Camden's gone. There's a, this is a Union cavalry division basically, and uh, there you go. It's it's kind of behind your lines, right next to Richmond. Alexandria, Huger, look at that. Go Huger, go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, he's up here. Um, we won in uh, Alabama, about Alabama again, Confederate cavalry. Wrong, Washington boys. There's Port Hudson. Uh, it's the first attack on Port Hudson. It's a Confederate victory. Um, pretty heavy casualties on, on both sides, really. So, uh, yeah, look at that. 700 entrenchment level. Wow. They're dug in, man. They are just dirt, pretty much under the dirt. Um, all right, strategy. Here we go. It's gonna it's gonna be getting complicated really quick here. Wadi will let's continue to attack out here. Um, I'm gonna move down. Huger. Here's force to kind of. These are the guys that attacked here and lost. Try to push them out. I'm also gonna send two regiments to attempt to get get there to Port Hudson and reinforce. Port Hudson is of course on all out defense. They're super tired. Probably should have done this before, but now I'm going to create a depot there so they can get replacements. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, we're going to try to blow some uh, railroads here, kind of go through here, take back Monroe. This regiment's going to try to get back into Port Hudson. Um, we're going to attempt to blow the railroad here and then, and then move closer to Meridian. A couple cover regiments from Alabama are going to come in here and take, try to take back control of this uh, railroad line here and, and then destroy it. Um, I'm going to send E.K. Smith's small half division kind of the north and then cut east along this rail, rail, line, and, uh, rail, railroad line. Attempt to push this regiment, cover regiment out of the way and then capture this brigade here. Um, and basically, don't want them, don't, I don't want the Union to get control of this railroad line and start to send supply up this way from Corinth. Corinth. Um, B is going to continue to hold here for a bit. He's up to level two entrenchment. So yep, yep, yep. There we go. Um, we do have a. Who's that? That's Quintrell. If you can destroy the railroad. Quintrell's, but oh my goodness, this is behind the lines. Yeah, destroy the railroad and then move over here to Central Tennessee. We burnt the the stockpile in Montgomery, Tennessee, in the last turn. So we're gonna now try to destroy the railroad and then go through Carthage, take it back, and get Livingston. 
Um, we've sort of formed a line here, and we need to send down a guys to Rome because they already have a cavalry regiment there. Another more cavalry movement out. Um, I'm also going to send Claiborne's division to North Carolina. Um, I think this is going to be a little easier to hold in the situation in North Carolina. They've evacuated. Yeah, how did that go? Because they, they just they've, they've moved up here. Right, but did you you gain control of that? No problem. We're yeah. in control of these now. We yeah. we captured um 116 supply lot general supplies. So we're happy with that. I'm also going to the division from Savannah is now going to go out and attempt to storm Fort Pulaski and take it back. Yeah. Beauregard small force will continue to hold Charleston. Now, all right. Yeah, let's just look at North Carolina. Lee is going to attempt to go back here with his fresh divisions. I've also transferred the fresh artillery that didn't really get used a lot last turn, and this, um, this these three regiments, which weren't that tired, and this one cavalry uh, regiment. The, they were hit hard, but I think we could try to replace it. Because um, I liked each division to have one cavalry regiment to kind of give them a good screening force into here. We need to be able to maintain control of this line basically through Wilmington and Goldsboro. Wilmington generates 65 supply a turn plus five money. We need to be pushing that supply north to what's going to be left of the Virginia front. Basically, I just I need Lee to push them out and defeat them in, in the field. I mean, I'm not asking too much. Come on, Lee. Break him, Lee. Break him. Jackson's decimated uh, division with like dolls going Ooh, to God. go up to uh, Petersburg. And Essentially, what we're ha what's happened here, the Union's gotten behind us. Meade has gone okay. around I'll Stewart. All right, man. Hancock's come in from the peninsula. Meanwhile, Hooker God. and Stoneman have massive forces across across the, the river here. What are we going to do? This is it's stay and starve, or don't stay and maybe get crushed in the field, <laughs> or sudden victory. We'll see. One by one, here's what we're, we're going to happen. I'm going to have my cavalry regiments sort of converge upon Petersburg. Um, hopefully, between Jackson and these regiments can get to Petersburg before this division attacks. The force, in, the force in Richmond has now gone into the Richmond fortifications. It's a level two fort. Um, level two forts like Vicksburg, so it takes a lot to take it. Furthermore, Richmond had a bit of bonus and general supply increase last turn. It's now generating 80 per turn. Oh, We're so. going to load in a couple divisions there, and they're going to be self, they're going to be sustainable, basically. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do? From the left flank, Stuart is going to destroy the railroad, march to Burke, is that Burkeville? Or Camden, Burkeville. Virginia. These guys here, fortunately, are going to destroy the depot that we just built. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Longstreet is going to go through Fredericksburg, down through this open region here in Hanover, and attempts to go all the way south and set up a line here oh. in Waverly. Wow, it says ten only ten days, so you Yeah, hopefully it'll make it. Hoke's division. Hoke is a very good general, strong division here. He's going to attempt to march to Richmond and join the fort. So I have him I click this button which says it's going to it's enter the yeah. fort. The sharpshooter will stay behind to try to destroy the depot and the railroad. Um, Ull's Corps is going to try to get to Petersburg as well in eight days. So what are we doing? We're completely moving the front back. We're going to leave. We're going to, we're going to keep Richmond, um, put our boys in the fort there, and then set up a line, Burkeville, Petersburg, Waverly, Suffolk. What I need to happen in North Carolina is lead to defeat him in battle, Claiborne's division to arrive next turn, and be able to stabilize this situation along this front. Push him back, or at least stabilize it. Right, so maintain you the supply. Maintain the supply. Yeah. It's hard to see. It seems like we're losing the war of attrition, though. Like, they're just pushing us back slowly and slowly. Uh, yeah, they're going to surround Richmond. They're I mean, look at, look, at, look at Mississippi now. Port Hudson's basically surrounded. Jeez. Vicksburg's still open in the north, but I'm sure Jeez, Grant is just throwing it down, thinking about it. Um, look at that force by the 15th Corps there. That's 2,500 power in Jackson now. Jeez. So do the yeah. do the cross the cross. Save. So that's blue. They they were just pretty there's much. There's a huge yeah. line here. Um, all we can do is hope for the best. I mean, it's a tough general supply situation because of the lack of war supply. We can't 
really get too much going. Um, yeah, okay. So that's about new. I mean, Newman, what do you think? Is this the, is it going to be game over in one turn? I don't know. Is this guy? Is our opponent? Um, Mager, is he? Uh, has he been taunting us? Has he been? <laughs> no, he hasn't. Has he been a gentleman? This is what I'm asking. He's been a southerly North Unionist gentleman. Unionist gentleman. Yes. Okay, good. Um, well, all good. right. I mean, you know, we'll see if Richmond holds and if we can create that new Virginia line. I tell you, starving is not fun. I mean, I'm not literally starving here, but see my yeah, boys starving. I, I, just... I don't like it. Uh, uh, are you, how are you spending money? Oh, oh, that's it. Newman. I'm glad you said that. Well, look at this. We have tons of conscripts, so... Oh, we got a one-ton war supply. Well, we spent it all again. Yeah. Three elite infantry, 16 line, one light, one militia, three... What's that? Four cavalry and one light artillery. So we've been able to save a lot, and now we're going to try to just hit replenish everyone. Hopefully, you know, Jackson's division will be ready to go again. The boys and women's will be ready to go again. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Bye. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.